there ladies and gentlemen and welcome once again to another episode of The Cider Drinker. And once again we have returned to the Henry Weston Cider Company to try out another one of their ciders. And this time it's their medium dry variety. So will this one be as good as the other Henry Weston ciders? Well we'll find out shortly won't we? But until then let's go and get the lowdown on Henry Weston's medium dry. Henry Weston's Medium Dry is available in these 500ml bottles. I do believe you can get it in bag of the box varieties in some places as well. The alcohol percentage is 6.5% ABV and as it says on the front of the bottle, it's, it's going to be a medium dry tasting cider. And the price, well on the um, Weston's website you can only get cases of 12 which works out at about £2.16 I do believe. But you can get it for a lot cheaper than that in stores and everything. I think I got this one for one pound fifty so it does pay to do your shopping about. Well your first big difference that you'll find with um, Henry Weston's medium dry is that it's not your bog standard uh, 4 or 5 or uh, 4.5 percent ABV cider that you get um, normally off shop shelves and everything it comes in at a much stronger 6.5 percent so I'm hoping that means it's going to um, have a little bit more flavour to it and it's not going to be well as sweet as some of the other medium dry ciders have been on the back it just says a fresh, apply and well balanced medium dry sparkling cider, as most medium dry should actually be. But apart from that, well if you've seen one Henry Weston's bottle you've seen them all, except this one comes in a nice flashy red design to differentiate between all the other ones. So without further ado let's go and crack this top open and see what I actually make of it. Now then, here's for the uh, whiff test. Yeah well it definitely smells dry. Getting none of um, the usual sort of like sweetness you get off the nose with um, other industrially made like medium dry ciders. Not as um, overpowering as some of like uh, the vintages and everything you get but um, you know that's to be expected. It doesn't really smell strong to be honest. Especially considering it's a 6.5% uh, percenter. so I don't know I might get more smells when I actually uh, pour it in the glass. So let's go and pour this out. And actually see what I make of this old Hemi Weston's medium dry, eh? I know the um, medium sweet wasn't my favourite of the bunch, but I'm hoping that this one will um, up the game. Um, as I said, I love their vintage, so I'm hoping this is going to be like a bit of a middle road between the two. But anyway, let's check out the colour. As you can see, it's um, lightly carbonated, just uh, all floating up to the top there. Quite light in colour, actually. Very um, straw-like. But yeah, pretty clear. I mean, obviously it's been a filtered cider, but yeah, it's not uh, not as amber coloured as I thought it was going to be. But there we go. Life's full of surprises. So, any more smells on the glass? <sighs> not really. Uh, still getting that slight dry note on the nose, but um, it is all very um, subdued at the moment. So I'm hoping that all the um, flavours and everything are going to be in the taste. Which is coming up right now, so cheers guys, here's to Henry Weston's Medium Dry. Hmm. Yeah, that's not too bad actually, let's go in for a um, second opinion. Okay, well thankfully it does taste dry. Um, yeah, you're just getting a very nice, um, almost like a smooth dryness. I know that doesn't really, you know, make much sense. But some of the um, dry sides you get could be quite acidic, quite um, harsh on the tongue, which I know some people aren't um, that keen on. But this one is more of a, a mellow sort of dry taste. It's, um, you know, not making you go, ooh, blimey, that is really dry. This one seems to be, um, yeah, kind of like a middle ground between the medium sweet and the vintage, because the vintage is like full on oaky, dry robustness. Whereas this one is definitely, as the smells were going, very subdued, but it still gives off a very nice dry taste. And you're actually left with a very nice dry finish in the mouth as well. So I'll get another one. Yeah, and lots of nice little apple notes there as well, um, but the tastes aren't really lingering around much. There's no um, 
like a smoky or oaky like sort of aftertastes on the um, back of the throat after it's gone down. Um, and I say you're just left with this nice little dry finish and that's pretty much about it. It doesn't taste like a 6.5 percenter. Unfortunately it does still taste more like um, a 4.5 percent or something like that. Which is kind of on the verge of a danger side really because um, I could easily see me going through a few bottles of these in a night and wonder why I've got such a stonking headache the next morning. So be careful if you are going to have this one because, uh, well, tastes can be deceiving. So anyway, let's go and get in for a final taste before the final verdict, shall we? Yeah, I feel this cider um, basically does exactly what it says on the bottle, really. It provides quite a pleasant um, dry taste to it. Not too acidic, not too astringent. And uh, you're just left with a really nice finish, but again, the only downside is the tastes aren't really uh, lingering about too much. But you're still getting a nice full-bodied cider here. And as I say, for what you can get it for, as I say, I've got this um, bottle for £1.50, I do believe. So for that value for money, it's definitely well worth it. So, for a final verdict, Henry Weston's Medium Dry is going to get a 7 out of 10. Um, definitely prefer this one over the medium sweet variety, so if you do see the two, I, in my personal opinion, I'd say go for the medium dry over the medium sweet. Um, as I say, the sweet one is still a nice cider, but it's definitely not one of Henry Weston's best. Whereas this one, as I've already said, is definitely a middle ground between that one and the vintage. So, try this one first, and then if you really like it, bump yourself up to the 8.2% vintage, because you're gonna love that one, I can tell ya. So anyway, there we go, another episode of The Cider Drinker. Hope you liked it, and as usual, I will be back with another delicious and tasty cider soon. But until then, it's been a pretty hard working day today, so I'm going to go and finish off this glass of Henry Weston's Medium Dry. So, take care guys, until next time.